guys, I'm Alex Morris and welcome to Chefs in the Raw, a cooking show that brings together leading chefs and health professionals to share their passion for plant-based food. Now normally I'll be in the kitchen behind the stoves, but today it's all about what's happening behind the bar. We're at The Hold here in Manly, where they're throwing together some awesome plant-based cocktails. So now all we need to do, find Brie and get our drink on. Okay guys, we are here with Keith Skinner, the owner of The Hold, and of course, Bree's taking up her seat at the bar. Keith, thanks so much for having us. Pleasure to have you. So, tell us what we're doing today. Well, here at The Hold, we've got a plant-based version of all of our cocktails on the menu, and today we're gonna to be making a cocktail called the Whitewashed Martini. A few different plant-based ingredients in that one. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. So in this one, rather than using dairy milk, we're gonna use oat milk, which okay. is our preferred plant-based milk because it doesn't add too much flavor to the cocktail, unlike yeah. maybe, for example, coconut milk. And another ingredient, which is chickpea water, as an egg white substitute. I think I've heard of chickpea water as aquafaba, is that right? Aquafaba is aquafaba. That's how they say it in Scotland. Fantastic. Okay, well, what else is in this cocktail? Uh, we've got some chestnut liqueur going in there. Yep. And some vanilla vodka. Some liqueur 43 there, which is a Spanish vanilla based liqueur. And some uh, house sugar syrup. And finally, we've also got some praline powder going in there as well. Praline, that's like sort of a desserty thing, isn't it? This is sounding like a really delicious cocktail. It's a desserty kind of cocktail. It's on the sweet <laughs> yeah. side, this one. I think it's gonna be delicious. I can't wait to make it. How do we do it, man? So first of all, we're gonna add some ice to our shaker. For dilution. Oat milk. For this cocktail, we use about 30 ml. We can just throw it straight in, unlike with real dairy milk. Sometimes you wanna put that in a bit later, just in case it curdles. Right. Plant-based versions are always better, right? They're much more straightforward, for sure. We're gonna put about 20 ml of the chestnut liqueur in here. Liqueur 43, of vodka. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Just uh, be generous with the vodka this time. Okay. Put in a little bit extra for you. <laughs> sugar syrup. And is that homemade? Yep, we just mix up the sugar water to make the sugar syrup and add some vanilla paste in here as well. Yum. And now, why you put in chickpea water in your cocktail? So, egg white gives a frothy head to a cocktail. The chickpea water does exactly the same thing, but it's a plant-based version. Amazing, what a great idea. So there's not too much required of this. We're just gonna give a couple, maybe two or three mil. It's amazing how little you need to get that frothy head on it. And then we're gonna get some praline powder in here. Oh, it's going right in. Oh, it goes in. Into Yum. the cocktail. And then, shake it up. Dusting in the praline powder. Praline powder garnish. Oh, yum. yum. Look at that. That looks amazing. A little flower. Oh, that's garnish. very manly. Beautiful. Good on you, Keith. That's it, the white wash martini. That's it. Well, I think, uh, Brie, this is where you come in. Thank you. I'll do the honors. That is delicious. It's like a dessert, like a liquid dessert. Well, you went with the straw. It. I'm a. Not so ladylike. Stuck in. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's good whitewash martini. Do you have something on my face? <laughs> no. Oh, well, Keith, man, that was awesome. Thank you so much for showing us that. And I uh, can't wait to see the next one. No worries. Pleasure. Good on you, bro. Thanks, mate. Thanks, guys. So we've reset the bar and we're ready to make our second cocktail and this time it's all about essential oils. They're widely used for emotional and physical wellness but today we're putting it in a cocktail. Keith, you actually invented that first cocktail but this one's more of a twist on a classic. Can you tell us about that? Sure, so the classic cocktail is called the Bramble, mm -hmm. invented by a guy called Dick Bradsell in London. So we're pretty much using very similar ingredients. We've got some um, some premium uh, London dry gin there. Lovely. Some creme de mur, which is a uh, blackberry liqueur. Some freshly squeezed lemon juice. And instead of a uh, sugar syrup, we have our lemongrass essential oil sugar syrup. Ooh, awesome. So this is the lemongrass essential oil. It smells pretty fresh and pretty powerful. It's really strong stuff. Um, two drops in a 700 ml bottle of sugar syrup is, wow. is all you need any more and it's too much. Amazing. So this is a really fresh fruity cocktail. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a great uh, refreshing cocktail this one. Yeah. Can't wait to make it. How do we do it? We're going to need 50 ml of the gin. So it's a London based cocktail with a London based gin. Exactly right. Fantastic. So we're going to add our uh, 
creme de mur at the end of the cocktail, just like we do with the classic bramble. So Bree, do you want to help us out and Absolutely. stir that down? I'll Thank you very much. Down. While Bree's stirring that case, where did you get the inspiration to start putting plant-based cocktails in your menu? We started with a plant-based food mm -hmm. on the menu, so we came up with a plant-based version of everything we've got on the menu. Everything? Everything on the wow. menu's got a plant-based version. It was a natural progression to make every cocktail and every drink have a plant-based version as well. Amazing, something for everyone, right? That's it, yeah. I love it. This looks pretty good to me, what do you think? This looks pretty good, yeah. It's a great colour, love the crushed ice. It looks really old school as well, mm. really classic. Already, that looks pretty good. I think it's going to look go. better right now, yeah? Yep, well, we've got our creme de mur coming in. We're just going to finish it off with a little garnish of three blueberries on the top, and there we have it. That looks so good. Those colours are amazing and so different to the last one we made. Yeah, it's a very different cocktail, this one. Last one, kind of sweet dessert like. This is a refreshing, kind of fruity cocktail. You know what to do, Brie? Okay, I'll do the honours. Yum, that is so refreshing, so fruity. I could definitely drink more than one of those. <laughs> I'd love to see you do it. Oh man, that is like summertime in a glass. Amazing, two very different cocktails, both plant-based, both delicious, all around amazing experience. Thank you so much, man. Pleasure, mate. Thanks for having us, and thanks guys, we'll see you next time.